Next news, 68,000 female genital mutilation victims in Germany. So in Germany, the amount of women and girls in Germany who have undergone female genital mutilation, aka FGM, has increased to 68,000, the family's minister announced on Thursday. The increase up by 44% from the last estimated total in uh, 2017 was attributed to the greater immigration from countries where FGM is more common. Minister uh, Franzika Giffey called for new measures in local communities to prevent the number from rising further. The rise from 44,000 in 2017 was so large because of the increased immigration from countries like Eritrea, Somalia, Indonesia, Egypt, and Nigeria, Giffy said. Oh my God. Yeah. This how, is how are you guys enjoying that cultural diversity in Germany right now? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to explain what you mean by that before people I, jump down your throat? They could they could jump down as much as they want. I don't give a shit. But oh, here's a, here's a here's a question: Is Germany is like not are they? Is there also a bias in addressing? Like, are they afraid? Like, are they actually coming down in this? Um, you know, hard and trying to get arrest these people. Or is it no one rule for the average German citizen and another rule for these special people who we cannot like really go that hard against because it's just their culture? I don't know. I don't know enough about German culture to really have that insider perspective. I wish we had um, Ridvan Eidemir here, aka Apostate Prophet, because he grew up in Germany and has a lot of insight and really strong feelings about German culture and how it's changed over the past year because of issues like this. Um, I'm if I everything I know is basically just like secondhand information about what other people's experiences say that the culture is like there. So I don't have a real in-depth understanding now i think you may i could be wrong you may be on to something and saying that there's a certain hesitance to call this out label it for what it is and assign responsibility appropriately um hopefully i'm wrong yeah danielle is saying is this new cases of gm or a greater reporting rate this is new, I, case. new cases yeah, in your case, no. Yeah, the Germans are very good at recording things. Oh, uh, yes, they are. And they're <laughs> on top on top of the sixty-eight thousand confirmed cases, they calculated up to fifteen thousand in Germany are under threat of undergoing the procedure. So this is a huge <laughs> this is a huge problem that um uh Germany is dealing with right now. Um, okay, yeah, we have Rivka now. Yay, that's great. Um, oh, we're in wow. our merch. We're Hello, get that plug in, plugin, girl. <laughs> that's Everyone awesome. Get our merch from us. Check out the website. Link our, it. Oh, oh, what and happened? She left her. She, and she, she left. Walked. She just came to show her Atheist Republic shirt. Link to our Atheist Republic shirt in the description as well. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, get that plug in. <laughs> yeah, guys, by the way, just to be clarify about cultural diversity. Uh, there's again, there's two different definitions. I I separate culture in two different categories. One is traditions, and the other one is values. Okay. Mm -hmm. When it comes to traditions, um, okay, here we go. Rifka is back. Jump. No, she doesn't know how I end up. Okay. So when it comes to traditions, we're talking about food, clothes, dancing, art, calligraphy, architecture. Um, dance, music, that sort of culture when it comes to traditions, the more diversity of that, the better, right? Because what does that mean, diversity? And that means like you're exposed to more ways for you to choose to enjoy different cultures, right? There's nothing like more different kinds of, different kinds of food, different kinds of clothing, different kinds of uh, fashion. There is, you cannot get too much of that, okay? That's good, okay? So when it comes to tradition, I support cultural diversity to the max, the more the merrier. When it comes to values, no, the superior culture should survive and the rest should just die out, okay? 
uh, values, there is there is a hierarchy of good ideas and bad ideas. The way women's you know role in society, there's bad opinions on that, and there's good opinions on that. Um, opinions about homosexuality, um, opinions about transgender people, uh, opinions about how to treat minorities, opinions about um, freedom freedom of expression, right? Um, all of this, um, there is a right answer, and there is many wrong answers. And you defeat and you crush those wrong answers, and you try not to let them survive, okay? And when it comes to FGM, female genital mutilation, that is definitely <laughs> beyond doubt in the shitty ideas that needs to be destroyed, okay? I mean, um, I but, think all genital mutilation, all circumcision needs to be destroyed. I, Exactly but right now, in the case of the story, we're focusing on female genital mutilation, and it's okay to uh, turn your attention to one cause in specific, right? right. But um, a lot of people act like male genital mutilation is just fine because it's very culturally normative, especially in America, and it's not fine. Um, that's did, a tradition did, that did also... Did you just no all genital... Did yes, just I did all... just all genital. All <laughs> genitalia matters, okay? <laughs> You just all genital matters me when I talked about FGM. Okay, yeah. so yes, yes, all genitals <laughs> matter. But I was just I was just joking. Um, I do agree with Susanna. Any form of uh, genital mutilation should be outlawed. But at the same time, it's okay for you if you want to focus on your activism on just one of them. But okay, Zach is saying FGM is illegal in Germany for everyone. Yes, yeah, so I know it's illegal for in Germany for everyone. My question is, and I'm not suggesting this to be true or not, I'm a genuinely asking, is if this law is being implemented equally on everybody, just because the law exists for everybody, that doesn't mean that it's being enforced on everybody equally, right? So there's a, there's, there's a difference between having a law and enforcing it. Um, all right, so... Let's go. Oh, by the way, um, okay, so Rivka, how are you? Thank you for joining. And Chopin is back too. We have all four of us here. Yay. Boys, oh, back. All right. <laughs> so sorry. Can you hear me? I forgot my mic or my no, it's headphones. Good. It's good. It's good. But we just got a copyright strike, Jen. Thanks to Susanna for singing that. Now we're going to get the copyright strike. Oh, no, we will. Wrong like, anyways. <laughs> You it, you it. Hopefully it won't be too loud in the background. They're lighting off fireworks all over town. We're not having the the main show, but they're legal to buy where I live. So people are just, oh, Michael Schroeder. So people are just lighting them off all over in their backyard. So hopefully it won't be too loud. We can't hear everything. It's fine. Good. Thank right. you for joining us, Rivka. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry I couldn't come earlier. It's okay. It's okay. Liz, it's, it's, it's good. We, we're glad to have you halfway through this. Exactly, you said halfway through, and you exactly came halfway through. Anyways, good news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not... Telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, 
but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritize, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that you know on the on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 